with us to an art masterclass. We're in Brisbane, Mount Cravat. We're gonna check out the studio. We're gonna make a Turkish lamp. Let's go. Before we get into that, we flew all the way from Sydney to attend this masterclass. So we were really excited. We checked into the Cali Hotel and can we take a moment for the interior? I love the pops of green. This bathroom is like my dream bathroom. Absolutely loved it. We then had a quick little breakfast before heading off to the masterclass. <music> art masterclass Brisbane studio and I'm here with the lovely Ella she's the brand manager she's gonna talk me through what you can expect to do in this really fun masterclass how many people can you expect to do the class with 30 40 people we can accept no problem mm -hmm. so you can come like group on friends with your family members nice so mm -hmm. what makes this a fun activity to do with friends or family compared to doing another activity in Brisbane because you can create your own design additional but also you can add something different also like mindfulness because you can focus just the your glass your mind is calming can you walk us through the process of the class and how long a normal class goes for so our class takes time usually to and half hour maximum uh, but depending the size first step is designing for example we have a template here and there are two sides mm -hmm. there are 12 different pattern you can choose whatever you want also of course you don't have to follow up this template template just gives your idea so you can create your own design too we have a booklet uh, also we explain on the booklet like step by step mm -hmm. how can make it also at home because we have a DIY kit too. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So would you say that the class is suitable for beginners or someone who's never done this before? Exactly suitable because we explain everything like clearly and easily. Cool yeah that sounds really awesome especially if you've never done something creative before you don't really think you're a creative as a person I feel like yeah. it's suitable for everyone. Mm -hmm to have a go yeah, exactly yeah. usually everyone goes some like paint and spa activity or something like that and you already done a few and you are looking for if something different you can come here do you have gift cards or packages available to purchase as well we have gift voucher if you want you can book online yeah. in our website or we don't have an expired date so you can come whatever you want oh. usually people buy a gift voucher for christmas really cool like anniversary present birthday present hen's night yeah. thank you so much for answering all these questions i'm excited to do the class now with you as my teacher pick this shape so i think this is so cute i love how little it is because i actually already have a big one at home so i'm gonna go for this small one let's make it i'm really excited now to do the design process I was a little bit nervous when it came to the design process just because there's so many creative combinations you could come up with. But just like Ella mentioned, you receive a piece of paper which has over 12 patterns and it's a really cool way to get you inspired. I decided I wanted to fit a few different patterns onto my lamp base. I just thought this would be really cute. As we began working, Ella brought out some delicious Turkish tea and Turkish delights. Cheers to that. And this was such a tasty refreshment. Now that we have our design sorted, Ella demonstrated how to glue the layers of jewels onto the lamp. Essentially using the adhesive glue, you want to put it all over your lamp base and work on the section that you want to put the first design pattern on. Really good thing about this is you don't need to be a perfectionist. If you make a little mistake, you can squeeze the pieces back together and the glue is really easy to work around. Here's me getting to work. I decided I wanted to use yellow, blues and greens. I love these color combinations and I thought they would look really cool once the lamp was on. Mum went for blues and oranges, another really great color combination. This activity is really therapeutic. You really get into the zone as you start working on your design and seeing it all come to life. I must say it's such an exciting feeling when you see your design start to stick on and you can start to visualize how your lamp is going to look once it's all completed. And here's a progress update on our patterns. Look how awesome they are starting to look. So after we were finished gluing our main patterns on our lamp, Ella began to explain that we need to fill in all the gaps with individual beads. She pre-warned us that this step is going to be messy, but it's definitely really fun. Essentially, you apply another layer of glue and then you start sprinkling on the beads that you've decided on. So 
For my colors, I wanted to go with a dark blue, this white clear color, and a light blue as well. These are how the colors looked all together. I thought they were really cute and it reminded me of like a tropical paradise vibe. When it comes to this step, there's no need to rush. Go at your own pace, take your time and really have fun with it. If you see some gaps or you see some beads start to fall off, that's totally normal. You can just add more glue and go in, fill the gaps as you see them. This is why it's important to take your time and just have fun, no need to rush. This whole experience is a very much trust the process situation, but look how awesome they look at the very end. Mum did such an awesome job. I honestly think she smashed it. She was a bit nervous because she doesn't view herself as a creative person, which is a total lie because she just did such an awesome job. This was such a great way to spend time together. I can definitely see myself coming back and bringing my friends, going on a little date with my boyfriend. And before we packed up, I wanted to see how my lamp looked like with the actual light. Such a cool feeling to know I made this myself and just designed from start to finish. I can't wait to go home and plaster it. Before we headed off, we wanted to check out the gift store because there are so many amazing Turkish trinkets and just traditional souvenirs and bits and pieces that were really cool addition to any home. Ella showed me this Turkish towel. It was made of 100% cotton and I just love the material and I really love the color. There were so many other variations. These hand-painted ceramic bowls were so cute. I loved all the colors and the intricate designs every single one of them had. These would be so cute to store your own jewelry at home, putting your rings or your bracelets or your necklaces on your bedside table. Simply love it. And as Ella told us, the evil eye charm in Turkish culture symbolizes protection against harm of evil spirits and negativity. There were so many trinkets featuring the evil eye design. I thought these keychains were super cute and I just love all these colors. They even had on display stainless steel silver jewelry. I particularly love the rings. I'm very much someone who's into like chunky rings and really unique pieces. So many statement necklaces. These rings are $20 each, or if you want to grab two, it comes to $35. Super cool. Like I said, evil eyes everywhere. I really, really love to see it. These beta necklaces, definitely a favorite. Ella even showed us that they offer traditional Turkish clothing. It was hard to decide our favorites, but Ella helped us and we ended up going with this really gorgeous Turkish towel, as well as this traditional Turkish inspired cushion cover. I really liked the pops of orange this had and the tassels. Also grab these coin purses. These would be really cute for traveling. And of course, can't not take some Turkish delights. My absolute favorite. And Ella even included these extra bracelets and anklets with the evil eyes so we could have that protection wherever we go. Thank you. <laughs> That's the day done. Now we need to go home and plaster our lamp up so we can see it, the final product. Of course, we still have some time to spend in Brisbane before we fly back to Sydney the next day. So we did some shopping around the Westfields and CBD. And for dinner, we went to Bianca Restaurant, a delicious modern Italian restaurant. They had lots of fruity cocktails and really delicious dishes. Love this vodka pasta. And if you do go, make sure you leave room for the dessert. The tiramisu was absolutely heavenly. And we're off. It's the next morning. Time to go home and plaster our lamps up. Using the kit provided, we managed to plaster it up at home. This was so quick and easy to do. We let it dry for a few hours and here we have it. These are our lamps, all finished, all sealed up. Look at the colors. I love how they both turned out. This was just such an awesome day. So many memories made. We can cherish these Turkish lamps forever.